Hello, my name is Bahit. And my name is Eldar. Welcome to a lab session on Total Station. Okay, let me introduce the materials that we use for this laboratory work. We need substrate, tripod, Total Station itself, and tapes. Okay, now Ildar will set up the instrument. As we work inside, our tripod should be placed on substrate. So, the tripod will be fixed to the flow properly and will not damage the flow of the university. The tripod legs should be placed on the substrate space and tighten up properly. Then, by loosening the clamping screws on the tripod legs, it is pulled out to the required length and the clamps are tightened again. And make sure that the tripod plate is in the horizontal position. And then the total station equipment is placed on tripod plate. The equipment should be tied up by screws underneath of the tripod plate. Ok, let me introduce the main features of Total Station equipment. For this laboratory work we use Leica TS-06 model. So, here is the objective of the equipment. Then we have the key to turn on and off the equipment, Bluetooth antenna for communication of the system, a compartment lid, and if we open that lid, you can see the place for USB memory stick, so you can save your data there. Here is the horizontal drive and in other side vertical drive, the battery of the equipment, eyepiece, focusing telescope and here on interface we have keyboard and display. Ok, now it's important to make sure that the equipment is set up at your eye height. Ok, in this laboratory work we will do overall three experiments. In the first one we will create a project and perform a surveying. Then we will measure height and distances of three points. And finally perform surveying using a resection method. Ok, now let's start with the first experiment, creating a project. Before the equipment was set up, we defined our ground point and the tripod was placed exactly over that point. After all materials set up, we turn on our equipment. Ok, and the first thing we have to do is set up the bubble. So, we turn the parallel screws of the equipment in or out and bring this bubble to the center. Also, we should keep checking the laser dot under the tripod and make sure that it is centered on the ground point. And when laser dot in the center and the bubble on the target, we are ready to start. So, here you can see that on the menu, using arrow key, we can choose different functions. In our case, we select program using this red key. In the program, we click on Station Setup. Then we open page 2 by clicking to this page key. Clicking F1, we set up the job. And again, click F1 to create a new job. Using keyboard, type the job name. Our job name is Fall 2020. By clicking red key, we back to Station Setup. And we click Continue. Then we click F3 to set the coordinates to the zero. After that, using the tape, we measure the height. Ok, 
keep in mind that the tape we used measures the height from objective to the ground point. So, the station was renamed to CEO and height measurements was entered. So, we click continue and then F2 to enter new coordinates. Ok, before we enter the coordinates, let's measure the length of one tile. So, the length of one tile is 600 mm. So, we select the first point and knowing the length of one tile, we can easily calculate the coordinates of our first point A. Then we select the point B and calculate the coordinates in the same way. So, we enter the coordinates of point A and press red enter key. And then, through the objective, we find our point A and click F1 to measure. Then we click F1 to measure more points and enter the coordinates of point B. And now the equipment itself directs us to the our point B. So we check to make sure that objective exactly on point B and again click measure. Then we click compute and press F4 to set up a new job. So station and orientation is set up. It means we finish the first part of the lab. And now we are ready to start the second part of the laboratory work. At the beginning of experiment, we select three points for measurement. Point one will be fire alarm system on the column. The next point will be a dot in exclamation mark. And point three will be speaker. Ok, on the menu we select survey, then click continue. By looking on eyepiece we find point one. And click measure. Then move object to the point 2 and repeat the procedure. And finally we will measure point 3. Ok, now you can see results of three points measurements. The first line shows the horizontal direction to the target point. The second one is a vertical angle to the point. Then the third one horizontal distance to the point. And the last line shows slope distance to the point. Ok, and we move to the final experiment. For this part of the laboratory work, we move our equipment to another ground point with unknown coordinates. And first thing we do is go to the program, then level and set up the bubble. Ok, now in the program we select station setup, click continue, then from that menu we find the section and click continue. Then, on appearing screen, we are going to the list. And here you can see the points that were measured on previous part of the lab. So, we find our first point that was measured on the second part of the lab. And we click measure. Then click F1 to measure more points. And then we move to the point 2 from the previous part.
And finally, we measure third point. And now we click Compute to see the results. And now you can see the coordinates. And we found these coordinates by observing three already known points. Finally, after finishing the lab, we turn off the equipment. Congratulations! Our lab session on Total Station is completed. So now I can go and complete some missions on my PlayStation. Bye!